So if you heard the theory, I heard a very recent uh, podcast interview looking at the importance of beauty and aesthetics when it comes to evolution, specifically yes. in animals and species where essentially if you have tons tons of guys and tons of girls they're in certain species, well, you have options. When you have options, you see what's happened with evolution or at least what's happened with male species. There's massively larger differentials between the men of species than there are between the women because the men have to stick out because their job is one and only thing to pass on genetic data but mm -hmm. it's slightly different for females if they're able to choose i've heard i've heard that tossed around as i don't think that would replace um evolution by natural selection but i think i think you've got to weigh both factors in right so so the effect that you're talking about is an interesting one and the the key evolutionary idea there is something called parental investment um, parental investment theory says that whenever you have sexual reproduction, you can ask about um, the, the minimum fitness investment that each sex needs to give to have a successful offspring, to raise, successfully have and raise an offspring. And in some species with se sexual reproduction, one, one sex will have a greater parental investment than another. In mammals, the female generally has the greatest parental investment because she's bearing the child and has to nurse the child or the offspring. Um, and it's an, it's an interesting consequence of evolutionary theory that the sex with the greatest parental investment will be the most choosy in picking mates because they have the most at stake. Um, a, a single wrong, each wrong mistake that they make, you know, each mistake that they make um, has a longer and bigger consequence to their reproductive fitness. You know, you know, the, the chance to have offspring. The 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 sex with the less investment, the, the less parental investment, um, can can more afford to be less choosy, less picky, um, in its choice of mates. And in in our species, that's the males. And so, so in, in Homo sapiens, females choose and males court. But there, in other species, for example, the, there's a seahorse, in which it's the other way. The um, the males have the greater parental investment. In fact, um, the 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 female lays the eggs, but then hands the bag. Literally leaves the male holding the bag of eggs, and he has to tend the eggs. And she runs off and does whatever you know, whatever the females do. But he has to to raise the the offspring. And it turns out that the male seahorses have the greater parental investment and it turns out the female seahorses court and the males choose so it's not the sex it's the parental investment that's the key factor here but but this um, matt is not any problem with natural selection it's just one consequence of natural selection so so this there's not a there's not a um you know a, a a difference here between you know, parental investment theory and natural selection. Parental investment theory is simply one of the interesting consequences of natural selection.